Mm-hmm. What it do, what it do, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new we gotta talk about. People, what's going on? How you doing? I got a really good review for you guys today. Now this review is simply happening all because of you guys. Literally, all because of you guys. We doing some things out here, guys. So you guys are liking the videos, you guys are sharing the videos, and of course you guys are subscribing, which by the way, if you ain't subscribed, come on now, do you eat, do you have breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Subscribe! I'm gonna let you know what to get and what to skip when it comes to the food. But, side note, you guys are doing some things out here with me. And because of what we are doing, guys, someone hit me up, and said, we got a new product we want you to try. So, let me tell you about it. But without further ado, today we got something new and we got something new from Cottage in Pizza. Cottage in Pizza hit me up on Twitter. And they said, hey there, we just released a new gourmet pizza, the Chicken Bacon Ranch. We love to know what you think. Now I saw that and that was like a main call. I was like, Go, 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 go. I don't know what this is, but I was like, go, go. We gotta try this. This is something new. I like it. This is a new product from Cottage and Pizza. It's not a reboot, it's a brand new product. I said, I gotta do it. Now, a couple of disclaimers here, guys. I got the pizza here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but a couple of disclaimers first before we hop all the way into this. Number one, Cottage and Pizza did not incentivize me. All they simply did was suggest that I try it out. So you guys are gonna get the unfiltered raw, keep it all the way, a hundred big band type of review, right? I'm not doing them no favors. Likewise, Cottage and Pizza, you are gonna get the unfiltered raw, big band something new type of review. So I'm gonna review it, but I may not like it. If I don't, I'm gonna let it be known, okay? Second disclaimer. I am not a huge ranch fan, so this may be your toughest challenge or your biggest win, depending on how it goes, type of review going on, because I like the ranch, but ranch all in the pizza, I don't know. Now, you guys do have some good marketing videos up there. I gotta commend you on that, because when I saw the video of how you made this gourmet chicken bacon ranch pizza, I should have upgraded to like the extra large, because you guys do your thing, right? You guys are all about the fresh dough, ingredients, toppings. Um, FYI about Cottage and Pizza guys, they were started in 1948, boom, in Ann Arbor, Michigan. You know the big house, Michigan, whoa, whoa. They're like 50 stores strong. They're in Michigan now, Ohio now, so more of a regional. And they also do got a location in China. So they, they, they global, baby. They worldwide out here. But they recommended I try this pizza, guys. It was like a bad signal, and you know, baby, man, I had a, I had to answer the call. I had to answer the call for you guys. So we are trying out that chicken bacon ranch pizza. So last 411 guys about this pizza, I got the small, which is $11.99. You can go all the way to large or extra large. Um, you know we respect the calories. I wasn't able to find calories for the chicken bacon ranch, but doing my own research, it's gonna range from like 250 on the low end up to like 450. So let's just go with four, okay? Know what you're eating, that's what I'm gonna say. Let me show you what this thing looks like. Ooh. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm hyperextending my arm, trying to show it to you guys. But we got that chicken bacon ranch. I'm gonna show you another view, but here's the first one here. All right guys, so yeah, this looks pretty good. Hopefully the view is good on your guys end. It's kind of hard to tell right here where I'm at. But we got uh, melted cheese, we got that bacon, we got that chicken underneath, that ranch sauce all put together nice, this is a small. Next time I'll get the medium guys, which is a little bit bigger for you guys, but knowing I'm not the biggest fan, I ain't wanna go there. So one thing I really like guys, and I'll talk about this as we eat, but I really like Cottage in Pizza's menu. They got a dope menu. Um, a lot of new items, so I'll make sure to go over some of that. But let's get into this pizza. Let me grab this slice. This one's calling my name. Yeah, it is. Ooh, look at all that meat on there. All that meat on there. Y'all did y'all thing, all that bacon. Look at that chicken right there, bang, bang. Look at that little clump of chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was expecting ranch just dripping all off this thing, and that's not what's happening here. This is a nice little balance. 
guys, let's do it. Cottage Inn Chicken Bacon Ranch. Here we go, first bite. Mm-hmm. This is a great balance between ranch, cheese, toppings, and crusts. All the way 100. I had a high benchmark for this. High. First bite, the main thing I got other than the ratio, even before the ratio, the main thing I got was the freshness of the ingredients. Banging bacon, chicken tasted right, nice premium taste to it, good texture overall. Cheese melty, gooey, mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Would I get this again? Hell yeah, I get this again. This ain't even my type of thing. Mmm, that crust. I'll tell you what, this is what I was gonna say, guys. I had Cottage M back in like college, a grip ago, right? I have not had it in a long time. I don't know what happened, if it was Pizza Wars or what, or moving and everything. I don't know what happened, but I have not had Cottage in a long time. And I remember back in the dorm days, we was crushing Cottage and Pizza. So this is like a date with Destiny, baby. I'm glad you're back in my life. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. One more thing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. This is fantastic. I do not like ranch, super heavy. Fantastic. Two things. One, this crust. So I got the pizza, the crust as um, garlic butter, right? But you can get a butter crust, you can get a butter parmesan, you can get everything, you can get sesame seed, you can get Cajun butter, garlic butter parmesan, a lot of different ways, but this is a key thing. The crust by itself is great. I, I can't stand pizza chains where you don't like the crust. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna name any names because it's about college and pizza. But doggone it, there's a big chain out there that used to have a special place in my heart growing up and they crust done fell apart. Put two and two together, know who I'm talking about. But this crust right here from college and pizza, you eat every last bite. It's not, right now it's like a bread stick. Mm, mm-hmm, fire. I ain't dipped it in nothing. No extra garlic sauce or nothing. You know what I'm talking about. Just by itself, banging. Now this is a round for us. They also have a deep dish. Oh Lord have mercy. And they got a thing for us. I wonder what those taste like. Actually, let me get one more bite and I'm gonna give them a score, guys. I'm, 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 I'm through, I'm through. I don't need no more of this. I don't need no more of this. That's the other thing I was gonna say. Guys, I was gonna get, um, just keep it all the way 100 with you. I got the small because I know about this, right? I was like, I'm gonna have one pizza. I'm gonna throw away the rest, I'm not gonna like it. This is fire. I didn't get a bigger size, but um, I should have clearly, because I'm gonna have all of this, guys. Look at that second slice. Look, look at look at that cheese. Let's, let's look at it from the side. Look at that, guys. Look at that layer of cheese and toppings to the crust. It's the perfect balance. This is fantastic. Let me get one more bite and I'm gonna give you a score. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. This right here, this, this nonsense from Cottage and Pizza right here, this stuff, this is fire. I was thinking, can I give it a lower score? And I can't, I can't because what they're trying to do, I've never seen a chicken bacon ranch executed this well before. From the ratio, the flavor of the ingredients, the key thing is a balance of the ranch to the cheese. I've never had it like that before. Just how good it is. I could potentially have this instead of my regular go-to pizza, which is probably like a pepperoni, sausage, green pepper, maybe throw some bacon on there. That'd be like my go-to. Yeah, I could see myself getting this, guys. It is that good. 
So for that reason alone, and because I had a crazy expectation that uh, was like a Mission Impossible job for Cottage and Pizza, there was no way they were gonna hit the mark and they greatly exceeded the mark. This is amazing. I'm definitely gonna eat the rest of this. I'd get this again. I can't get this. I was thinking about, could I, can I even get away with a 9.5? Because I don't want you guys thinking I'm trying to give them a good old bougie score just because they reached out to me. No, screw all that. It's legit that good, guys. I have to say, it is what it is, guys. This is a 10 out of 10 from Cottage and Pizza. I can't, I would be cheating Cottage and I'd be cheating you guys and cheating the game if I gave them anything less than a 10. This is absolutely amazing. Cottage and Pizza, I told you I'd get you the, i give you the unfiltered, raw, uncut review. Round of applause. This is absolutely great. Gotta commend you guys. Um, last few things here, guys. Some things I do wanna point out, because I was thinking, even if I give them a bad review, I'm gonna point this out. Because, you know, give respect and, and, and do is where it's deserved, right? So here's a little uh, update about Cottage and Pizza, and I love their menu. They got, they're blowing everyone in the pizza game out the water when it comes to a menu. So they have gourmet pizza, they got build your own pizza, they got in wings, and under in wings you can get oven roasted wings, boneless wings, breaded wings. Then they got end sticks, so basically um, your bread sticks, right? They got everything sticks, okay. They got cheese bread. Oh, well, all types of cheese bread. Toppies you can put on them. They got shakes, how do y'all get shakes? You know what told me y'all got shakes, I missed that memo. Okay, look at this, gluten-free pizza, plant-based pizza, like look at that. Wow, plant-based, sweet, and spicy, are you serious? Wow, wow. Then they got salads, all types of, who y'all got in the kitchen? Who was in the kitchen making all these creations? Oven toasted subs. BLT, barbecue chicken, chicken club, chicken parmesan, cottage and club, Cuban, are y'all from Motor City, Philly? Oh, wow. Chicken pita, Italian favorites. L lasagna and lasagna dinner, y'all need to stop. Calzones, wow. In desserts, oh, shut the front door. Y'all got an apple pie, pizza, a uh, apple pizza. Y'all got me saying it wrong. Cinnamon sticks. Y'all better put some respect on Cottage Inn's name. Pizza of the week. Oh, now that Motor City meatball look crazy. Oh, I might have to try that out. That looks bonkers right there. Okay, and then back to their gourmet pizza. So guys, again, they got a crazy menu, right? And then look at the gourmet pizzas, and this is what I like. So you see that chicken bacon ranch, but then you see that Roma pesto. You can put this drizzle on the pizzas, right? This Roma pesto has a drizzle of pesto. Now that's crazy right there. Come on, y'all. Hey, other other pizza chains. Y'all better start recognizing Cottage and Pizza. They innovating out here. They got a BLT bacon cheddar burger, Motor City meatball, pulled pork, what? Ranch taco, Cuban pizza. Come on now. Philly Steak Supreme, look at that. Let me zoom in on that joint. Oh, wow. Price Buster chicken. Buffalo chicken blue? Oh my gosh. Kicking chicken. Aloha, aloha. Yeah. Greek pizza. So look at that guys, just in the specialties. They got it, they got a crazy menu. Crazy menu. So again, kind of genial doing it. This pizza did it. Again, 10 out of 10, keeping it all the way at 100. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come eat with your boy. We got an end production. Close the box of this goodness right here. This feel like a delicacy. Real talk. Cottage and Pizza, thanks for suggesting this. Keeping it all the way 100. This was an awesome meal. I can't wait to finish this. You guys got something else to bomb that's new. Whatever your favorite, let me know. Y'all done got some street cred right now with me. Cottage and Pizza is that boy. I gotta have uh, my boys when they come to town try this out. We gotta put some respect on their name, okay? We got a new entry into the pizza game. I know they're not national, but y'all need to be. Y'all really do. If you're in the Michigan, Ohio area, China, try out Cottage and Pizza. Try it out, for real. Guys, that's the review. Hopefully you found it helpful, insightful. Maybe you don't have a Cottage and Pizza near you, but you just have some fun rocking with your boy. As usual, if you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share it once, share it twice. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next on something new. Whether you're a regular or a first timer, make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell reminder. Catch you guys next time.
Peace.